Sincere apologies to everybody, all my Diablo 3 fiends out there. I am a few days late with this, but Diablo 4 was announced at this year's BlizzCon. I had a super busy weekend, so I didn't have a chance to record my reaction to the cinematic trailer. I haven't seen it in its entirety. I was actually saving this for this moment to watch it with everybody. From what I hear, it's a very gritty, dark version of Diablo. It's returned to that gothic, scary horror type feeling of the original games, and that is the answer to my prayers. That is what I love and that is what I've been waiting for. I love themes that are really, really sort of horror and gothic themed. I love that sort of stuff. And without babbling, the cinematic trailer has been released. It is quite lengthy. So the last thing everybody wants to hear is me babble on. Let's watch it together and then we'll talk about it. Oh man, goosebumps. It's a very tiny village. That can't be uh, Tristram. Huge symbol, some sort of religious symbol. Look at that. That is sensational. Blizzard makes the best cinematics by far in the gaming world. The World of Warcraft ones I was obsessed with. And that was like, what, 14 years ago? Quiet. Shut. Amazing detail already with the lighting and the shadows. They have our scent. Run! Oh yeah. Oh man. Wow. Blessed Akarat, my eternal life protects me. My divine hey, host. Guys, look at me. All the gold we You would think at first that might be Tyrael. I don't think it is. There. That looks oh, like Beric Dondarrion from Game of Thrones. I just came here for knowledge. Really reminds me of Sir Beric. Oh yeah, Gollum. I know. No. So he's clearly wounded. He's in trouble. Get us through that door. Looks like a barbarian, that dude, but oh, I don't think he is. So it's an odd group here. It's, they're all different in their own way. You've got the old war veteran, a barbarian type, ruthless type, a rose type, and then like a mystic kind of guide or whatever he is. This doesn't make any sense. Blood sacrifice. It's pretty Blood. obvious. Blood is the key. B blood is the key. Ah, what? I need two of you. No, oh. Go. I'll hold them. Go. So this is obviously coming it to the, the brand new 5G phones. You gotta be kidding It's a mobile game. I'm kidding, obviously. Based on last year's disappointing BlizzCon, where they announced Diablo Immortal, where what, a game that no one would give a shit about. Ah, it worked. Especially after they hyped it up so much, this huge announcement. They thought that PC gamers him. would really like be obsessed already. with the mobile game. Please. Uh oh. Oh no, Sir Beric, you're gone. No! Bastards. Why would you do that? It's a shame he didn't make it. Oh well, cheer up. Gold splits better three ways instead of four. <laughs> so they're here just for gold. You must be hidden here somewhere. Read this. <laughs> by three they come, by three thy way opens, by... Obviously, they, they've been working on this for a while. Hey. Hail so last year at BlizzCon when they announced Creator. Immortal, 
They would have been working on this because a, 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 a cinematic this detailed, they couldn't just rush what about together. The coin? What's it say? Look, look at the animations this in his face. Is forbidden. This is a summoning. I cannot speak. Don't look at his wounds. So here. detailed. For treasure. What is this place? I, I, I don't know. Pretty sure even when they were, maybe, maybe, you could maybe see maybe their hands. Oh, you could see like more. the dirt in their fingernails. It's a, that's absurd how much detail they've gone to. Look at their facial animations. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was creepy. Beric, Sir Beric. As per Game of Thrones, he just returns from the dead. This is this is breathtaking. No need for comment. They should make this into a movie, just with their own cinematics. Looks a bit like Quan Chi from Mortal Kombat. Clearly a necromancer of of some sort. Some sort of necro. Come. Reminds me of Quan Chi from Mortal Kombat a little bit. Open your eyes. Don't do it. It'll suck out your eyeballs. Eternal life protects me. Eternal life protects me. Eternal life protects me. Eternal life protects me. Ain't she gonna protect you, boy? Only darkness, my friend. You came to the darkness for knowledge. Darkness, man. Wow. I'm already blown away. How long has this been going for? Really? Time's really passed quickly. When you're so impressed, time goes by so quick. And all the knowledge you seek is here. So thank you all for tuning in and sticking around this long with the creepy damn uncle. It can be painful to stick around for almost ten whole minutes. Words. Call her home. <clears throat> By three, they come. By three, thy way opens. Three blood sacrifices. By the blood of the willing, we call thee home. That's some Hellraiser shit right there. Uh-oh. Hail, daughter of hatred. Creator of sanctuary. Wow. Hail. Lilith. It's a fine cape. <laughs> um, holy shit. Ugh. 
I'm kind of speechless. That cinematic was absolutely breathtaking. So Lilith now is obviously the villain that we're going to be battling with in Diablo 4. The Necromancer, I think that might be Rathma for those of you that are very familiar with the Diablo story and the lore. If you've read some of the books, I think that might be Rathma, who's actually son of Lilith. He wasn't necessarily a villain in the Diablo universe, but I don't know what's going to happen here. The, 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 the cinematic trailer here didn't reveal too much. So generally he was a good guy, but when, I'm not too sure if he's going to turn bad. I'm not even too sure if that is Rathma. I'm just speculating right now. And there's a lot to take in here. I, I, I'm absolutely just speechless. That was, a, that was amazing. I wish they'd make a whole movie like that, honestly. I'll probably have to go back and, and look over this over and over again. But it goes without saying that I'm looking forward to this more than anything you can possibly imagine on this goddamn earth. This is my wow. Now, apparently there is a actual gameplay trailer as well, a short one. I'm going to check that out next. From what I've heard, the Barbarian, Sorceress and Druid classes have been confirmed for this game. Wow. So the Druid class is probably a, a class that I'll play first. I, I believe it'll be different than any other ever in the Diablo universe. So it should be. The Sorceress is an interesting one. So Sorceress or is it like a Sorcerer? Can you, if you're a male, do you become a Sorcerer? I don't know whether you actually have to go with a female in the game. Or I don't even know if you can, if you can actually change genders in the game. I assume that you will. And I, and I assume that male and female will be the two options for gender in the game. But... I really don't know. We don't we don't have too many details and apparently this game is a while off, but wow, after that cinematic, that'll keep me busy for a while. I'm gonna go back, watch that over and over and see if I can identify a few things, analyze do a bit of research and then I'll make a new video because it's just going to go on forever. I, I can talk for 20 minutes about this and rewatch it and, and really stop through the trailer and break it down. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bore everybody. That, that, this is my reaction. As you can, as you can see, I'm, I'm a little bit speechless. I have to go back, watch this, really analyze it. And then I'll probably make a big video on the Diablo 4 cinematic trailer reveal and actually talk about some of the things that I think are going to happen and what and what I've taken from the trailer but it's going to there's going to be a lot of detail in a video like that and if you want to come back and see it then definitely let me know in the comments below hit me up with a big thumbs up and also come back I'm going to check out the gameplay trailer right now as well so if the video is not up right now after this one it'll be up very very shortly I promise you so what you're waiting for if you haven't subscribed subscribe now and of course your dear old uncle is going to be playing Diablo 4 to death when it comes out. All the latest guides will be up on this channel. Love you all. Can't wait to see you all again real soon.